subscription spot. Spot's having a look at a brand new box from the folks over at My Geek Box. To subscribe to My Geek Box, Spot will put the link down below. You can also head over to mygeekbox.co.uk. You would like to get one of these massively large boxes delivered to your house every single month. I believe this to be the June box from My Geek Box. We're going to get this opened up. You and me and Tommy22 makes three. There's uh, probably a good three or four other others that watch this video as well. Thank you for that. Thank you. But anyways, we are going to get this opened up, this blue box of delight. I think blue box, I think recycling. But you probably don't want to recycle anything in here. You're going to want to keep it for yourself or share it with friends and make the world a better place like Coca-Cola. Going to grab a knife that's as equally colored in blue as the box itself. And this is my friend Hank. This is my buddy Hank. I talk to him sometimes when I'm feeling a little sad. Spot, you talk to a knife when you feel sad? Yes, I do. I also like to eat bananas and uh, I like to go for walks and kick stones when I'm feeling a little blue. Speaking of feeling blue, though, let's get this blue box opened up. I may have just told a fib. I don't actually kick stones when I when I'm sad. There, I had to I had to air it. I'd, I'd get it out of my system. Okay, so the first thing we were treated to is wow, oh, wow, that's that's really cool. Let's see who makes this. Eagle Moss. I figured it was going to be Eagle Moss. We are treated to a doomsday. Keeping in theme with the Batman v Superman movie. This, uh, wow, I was. That would probably add up to why this box was so heavy. Couldn't quite figure out why the box was heavy. Now I know. We got this weighted statue inside. And let me. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Let me cut the tape. And let's get a look at Doomsday. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that. The hair is. Could have been a little bit better, but. It's Doomsday holding up the tattered, ripped remains of Superman's uh, cape there. It's, wow, this is heavy. Good bit of weight there. And it's uh, got DC on the, DC, Dane Cook, no, DC Comics, uh, on the stand there. That is a super cool, super cool stand, statue. I'm going to put that in my office. Yes, I will. The office that gets just bigger and bigger and well the amount of stuff that I have in my office gets more and more and more but I keep adding to it because I get so much cool stuff next we have the uh, Titans vinyl figures Ecto-1 this is a 4.5 inch replica of the car the Ecto-1 car I like the Ecto-1A personally but there's a back there who are you gonna collect Titans vinyl figures I see what you did there Titans I see what you did there Ecto-1 and on the underside there, you can check out more from www.titanmerchandise.com. Nice little car, especially keeping in vain with the idea that uh, the reboots will be coming out very, very soon. I know some people are just kind of like, oh, God, this reboot. I'm actually looking forward to it. It may not be as good as the original, but you know what? That's the thing about remakes. If you don't like the remake, you can still go back and watch the others. It's not like someone's coming to the door and saying, uh, excuse me, sir, excuse me. You open the door, hello, hi, hi. Uh, we represent uh, the company, the company of collecting old movies. Yes, and uh, how can I help you? Uh, well, seeing as the new Ghostbusters reboot is coming out, uh, we have been instructed to uh, repossess all titles of the original movie. But I, I like that movie. It doesn't matter. Remake's coming out. You're never going to be able to watch the originals again. That scenario doesn't exist. So really, if you don't like the remake, you can just go back and watch the originals. I hope I put somebody in their place. Somebody's just like, gosh darn it, he's right. He is right. Uh, it looks like we got ourselves a Flash Gordon uh, t-shirt. It looks like the Flash Gordon, at least it looks like a Flash Gordon, uh, like ray gun. I like that. That's neat. On a black t-shirt, that red pops. It pops! I don't know why I had to be so... I had to add an exclamation mark to that. I really don't know why. Next, we have a SpongeBob SquarePants Wacky Surfing Mini Set. On the back there. That's what it looks like. I guess we could really build it. There's nothing... There's nothing really preventing me from building it, right? 
Let's put that right there. Let's see what else we have in here first. A yummy breakfast enamel keychain. Look at this smiley egg. Sunny side up. You bet it is. You bet it is. His, his day is sunny all the time. Sunny side up. But on the back, it's from Kid Robot. www.kidrobot.com For ages 8 and up. Okay, so we got, our, of course, the Ecto. Got the t-shirts. Got the really cool Eagle Moss. That is so, so cool. And now we're going to open this up. Just because this is an extra treat for everybody out there. I hope this has brightened your day as well. I don't, I don't suspect there's going to be much in the way of building, but that's why we're going to do it here. I could have just taken a break. Could have opened it up. I could have done that. All that stuff I always say: take a break and open up, come back. And we're going to do stuff. But this time around, no, not at all. We're going to build this. We're going to build this, and you're going to participate in this in the way that you'll be like spot that goes. No, no, oh. Oh, uh, spot that goes that way. No, you put it the wrong way. <laughs> There's the minifigure, by the way. I don't remember his name. You can tell me down below. I think his name is Captain McSandy Crabs. I don't think that's his name. All right, so very little in the way of building. That's why we're doing it right here, right now. There's no other place I'd rather be. Watching, I think, what was it? Watching the world wake up from history. Love that song. I think I've referenced that song in another video as well. I seem to just kind of keep going back to it, don't I? Uh, okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, so this piece, I think, is going to go like this. I like how the plastic is like a translucent blue. That's schnazzy. Okay, so we got that. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add these little planks. You'll see how quickly I build this. Don't tie me though. That's the kind of pressure I don't need. Oof, somebody starts pulling out a, a, a stopwatch, I start to panic. And when I panic, I make mistakes. I think we can all agree to that. Not maybe to the fact that I make mistakes, but somebody's, if you can do stuff and then and somebody says, hey look, hey look, Billy's doing stuff. And then they all, everybody looks at Billy. Billy gets a little nervous, Billy makes mistakes. The key is to acknowledge what somebody's doing, but just do it in a way that they can't tell that you're watching them. Huh? That's, that's what you need to do. While we're doing this, and while I have been talking, I've been building this. See, that's I've been distracting you, so you didn't know that I was doing this. But the whole time I was, huh? that's, that's what magicians do. It's the art of misdirection. Okay, so, and I see see what I already did there. I knew I did this wrong. This, I'm gonna take these off. There we go. Ugh. I realized that, see, because everybody was watching. That's the problem. This goes the opposite way because we're building the ramp. This is the ramp that, I guess, what is he on? It looks like a skidoo, but it's not a skidoo. I guess this is the thing that launches the skidoo. Or he's on a surfboard. Ah, see, he's on a surfboard. That's what he's doing. Okay, so we're going to put these two on. Bingo, bango. Hank's your uncle. No, no, he's not. He might be. You might have an Uncle Hank. If you have an Uncle Hank, let me know. Just some random thing we'll talk about. Do you have an Uncle Hank? Is he really cool, Uncle? I have an Uncle Hank. Hank. Hank, Hank. All right, so... It's because I'm nervous. Everybody's watching me now. God, I feel like yeah, everybody's just watching me. Okay, so we're going to take this elastic band. And this has to get fed through here. Just like so. There we go. All right. Then that attaches underneath. I thought this was actually what he's riding on. That It's not. It's It's just a launcher. And then that goes on like this. Ugh, and then that falls through. Let's try this again. Here we go. Here we go. It's like threading the eye of a needle. Which I don't know how many people have actually done. Have you ever threaded a knot? Threaded the eye of a needle. Okay, so that's got to go like that. That's got to go like that. 
And that's what we got so far. That's, I guess, the launching pad. Okay, now we're gonna take a couple of, I guess we're making these little pylons. Maybe, that's what these are, pylons. Snap, snap, that goes like that, bingo, bango. That really doesn't actually do anything. These just sit on the side. This guy sits on his, there we go. I forgot to really mention, he's got super posability too. Head, arms, ball joint arms, waist. So there he is on his surfboard. Now, this, I guess, is supposed to fire back? I guess, I guess. And I think I put this on, I did put this on the wrong way. Oh, bananas. Thread it, eye, in, eye the needle, eye in the needle. Okay, so there we go. Is that right? Or did I have it right the first, what, first time? It's the instructions. Oh, I did have it right the first time. There we go. See, everybody's watching me, so now I, I panic. All right, let's get this through here. We'll make short work of this, please. Please short work. It's this elastic band. Okay, let's do this one more time for prosperity, please. That goes like this. It also doesn't help that it's extremely warm in here. Apparently, I've I got an oven in the office here. I just decided to turn on the oven. Uh, okay, so you take the guy, you put him on the surfboard like that, you pull this back like that, and you launch him off. That's what I just accomplished at building. I took a little thing that launches a surfboard. There it is right there. I actually thought it was going to be a lot easier for some reason. I don't know why I thought... Think it's gonna be easy, then people start watching you, then you start making mistakes. Okay, so there we go. We managed to build ourselves the Mega Blocks, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants wacky surfing set. Of course, let's also not forget the Eagle Moss statue of Doomsday. Got ourselves the Ghostbusters, Ecto-1, and got ourselves a t-shirt, which I think is pretty cool. If you guys are interested in getting all of this delivered to your house every single month, I really like that statue, I'm gonna put that somewhere. Maybe he can stand next to the surfboard. Although I don't think I want to launch Doomsday off. He's probably going to be really angry with me if I do that. Uh, if you guys are interested in getting my Geek Box, there it is right there, my Geek Box delivered to your house every single month, you can click the link down below or head over to www.mygeekbox.co.uk. Today we're having a look at the June Box for my Geek Box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.